For more information, please visit our website at darkcybernetics.com. This is Dark Cybernetics Computer Graphics Displays. Follow on our free course documentation. In this video, we will quickly discuss, if we can, how information is transmitted from our computer. Let's draw a computer here, a quick computer, a desktop computer, using the, a well, for a modern system, a graphics card. And we'll just draw the graphics card in here. Let's suppose this is our computer here. It has some on and off switches. And we have this type of chassis. And this is our uh, tower case. Your modern graphic card is somewhere here in the um, well, about the middle bottom region of your computer, and the, the more modern cards, at least the RTX series, take up most of the space in the computer. And this is our GPU here. This is a tower case. All right, all right. And we transfer the information over to our monitor or display unit. Let's call this the GPU. All right. This is our graphics processing unit, and have tensor cores and you know, some other stuff. We'll get into that later. But okay, we have information here. We transmit the information to our monitor, and on our monitor or our display unit, it could be LCD, CRT. We have a collection of pixels which change based on light emitting diodes. And let's draw a monitor here. We have this array of pixels, all right? And it has you know an X and Y, and there's three colors: red, green, and blue. Once the light hits the diode, it changes from or, or white to you know all colors is white and, and you know a combination of the colors um, give us our image but you know for CRT well let's discuss CRTs first and we'll get into the light emitting diode um, version in a bit but we have these collection of pixels on our screen and they go in a row and column with uh, with and we have a, um, a light emitting diode that you know changes based on light and let's draw this in here this is our screen right this is the screen of has pixels on it and for a CRT monitor um, we do a little different than we do on the LCD monitors here this is our each one of these represents a particular pixel right and it's not drawn to scale or, but when we start to scan when it draws the let's draw the the, the, um, the cathode ray tube um, structuring right and it shoots a beam into the television to the, to display to the screen, right? If it draws pixels, it starts up here in the corner. Let's draw the monitor portion, and before we see it, right? It draws starting at the top corner, the top part of the thing, and it draws the pixels starting on the uh, rightmost part to the leftmost part, depending on the type of the screen monitor. And it creates shoots a beam of light here, and the pixels start at the top, and they go down to the bottom. Um, to produce the colors we need, we see on the screen, and so it starts in this uppermost corner and up here, and it goes shoots across. So we can just draw a line almost. It, should, it picks if, it, if, we, if there's something information to be placed inside of one of these squares, it'll draw a color here for raster graphics, and then it'll it'll shoot over to the, the start of the, the the bottom line or the next on the next column. We can do dotted lines here, and it'll shoot across and draw the pixels we need, and it'll shoot across. Here and it'll do the same process here. We went the wrong way, but well, we went the wrong way here. It's the reverse. And then once it gets to the bottom, the most line, it zips back up to the corner. Let's use a different color to display that. It goes up to the top of the start position and it repeats this process again. To create a frame to do frames per second, which usually occurs 60 frames per second based on the um, monitor or the graphics processing unit. So then it shoot at once we finish the iteration, it goes to the top. It does this once every 60 seconds for. Or for older monitors, even less, or even older televisions, it was maybe 30 times a second, right? That with the flickering effect, and the flickering effect causes problems for people. All right, so, and then once it draws things here, it, it puts in you know, starter pixels, right? It can outline the shape we need sometimes, or it could, or it could use the field flood algorithm to color in the, the region. So we had to, we looked at the screen, and it was a perspective, it was drawn some type of perspective, geometric primitive. A triangle or something on the screen it would draw the the shape first and, and then it may use a field flood algorithm to color in the pixels which all happens in a, in a blink of an eye which is several seconds right and we have the image and you have the screen and we see what we will see in turn each it would have a refresh rate right and then we would just see the resulting triangle we slow down the algorithm 
we would see the information displayed on the screen being drawn into place. And for this, we discussed the, the, the what display devices, and we will have to move on to something else for our next video. And for more information, please visit our website at darkcybernetics.com.